Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Dean Lining here. Coming at you guys live with some Modern Combat vs. gameplay. So right off the back, um, sorry I haven't uploaded in like forever. It's just that school got in the way and I had my finals and now it's all done and blah and blah and blah blah and blah blah blah. blah. <sighs> oh my god, that, I talk too much sometimes. So yeah, um, my finals are over. I'm on summer break from next week so it's all hype i will be uploading uh two videos or three videos a week just to like make it up for you guys um until the end of may uh that will be my schedule so yeah um i'm pretty sure you guys already know that modern combat versus which is part of the modern combat 5 i mean modern combat franchise has been released or soft launched in the um Philippines App Store and if you guys didn't know it's like their beta version so I'm not gonna be super judgmental and like completely review it you can say I'm just gonna show you guys some gameplay and a little bit about the starting you know a little bit about the game and the mechanic mechanics and how it can be improved and just basically my thoughts about it so right off the back um, I just wanted to say that um, I really appreciate all your guys' support. We're like at 1,150 subscribers, more than that, I guess. You know, we're growing very fast, and I really appreciate it. And if you guys have any particular video you want me to upload or talk about, I will definitely do that. So, in this game, you, you don't have like um, classes like Recon class, Assault class, Sniper class. Instead, you have agents, and each agent has like a, a story behind him or a lore, just like Main Glory. And uh, <coughs> God, my throat hurts. So my favorite um, heroes or agents, like or at least my top three, are gonna be Creeper as one, Aronin as two, and Cult. I think yeah, Cult as third. Um, <coughs> and today I'm just gonna play mostly Ronin, cause uh, when I was recording this gameplay, I was just mostly practicing Ronin, you could say. So yeah, I'll be playing Ronin. Um, first map, uh, also I just wanted to add, this game has a lot of maps right off the bat. I think it has approximately, I think it has 5 maps, I'm not really sure. I have played on basically all the maps. And all the maps are amazing, very big and you know, straight up, straight up awesome. So I'll be playing Ronin. Um, so just, I'm gonna give a brief, you know, information about this character or agent if you guys didn't know. Uh, what he is or what's his, you know, gig. So I think Ronin is like the coolest character in the game because in his right hand he has a katana and then he just runs around, slices people with his katana and then that too is, it's no ordinary katana, you can see it's like a glowing gold kind of katana, it's super cool. So if you double tap your right side, um, you will dash into an enemy, uh, you have to like aim where you're like going to dash and stuff. So the, basically this guy has like amazing health, you know like amazing health but uh, but you have to have like basically uh, pretty good skills to basically like you know dash at the correct position because if you dash at the wrong place you won't really get that many kills. And yeah. And if you're like that type of guy who's like super stealth and you want to stay back, support your team from the back, this is not your hero. This is my kind of hero. Just running around, slicing people, killing them, you know, just... Come on, man. This is so cool. You're running around, just killing people with the katana. Can you just imagine that? How cool it is? So right now, I just want to get a 2 piece, but I'll just go take this monarch out. So out of the three uh, uh, elites, Monarch, um, who is a sniper, uh, BBQ, who is the most OP agent I, in my opinion, and Ronin, I think Ronin needs the most skill because, you know, you're running around, you have to dash, you can't just randomly tap because after you dash, you have like a, a pretty good cooldown, you know, like a very strong cooldown. Whereas Monarch, you have to just scope in and it auto aims on you, as you know, it's has auto shoot and aim assist also when you scope in but here's my thing okay i don't really care about auto shoot or aim assist because whatever advantage a noob has the same advantage you have right 
So if he's using auto shoot, even you're using auto shoot, come on, then you can't really blame auto shoot being newbie. But yes, I would love it if Gameloft added a um, traditional shoot button, you know, which will give like the modern combat feel to the game. Because right now, I feel like this game is like a combination of, uh, you can say, Overwatch and Black Ops. So currently, this game has only one game mode. It is called, um, it yeah, it's called Zone Control. So basically, what you do is get onto like one zone and control it as long as you can. So whichever team controls it for the longest wins. And uh, there is no like rating system, instead you have like a trophy system. So if you beat higher level people, you get more trophies. If you lose against noobs, you lose more trophies. And I really like the system, but they should tweak it a little bit. You know, like Glory's ELO system. And it'll be amazing, it'll be like a spectacular game. Perfect game. Right now my computer is, I mean, my MacBook's like completely heating. Holy shit, it's hot. So now let's talk about the upgrading system of the game. So basically, it's again like Clash Royale, you know, you if you win games, you get chests. And when you open those chests, you get these cards, you get these XP's instead of cards. And then you can upgrade your character through this, through the XP. And then um, your level also increases depending upon how many, how much you upgrade or, you know, do those things just like Clash Royale. Currently, I'm level 6. And uh, there are also clans. I'm in um, Clan Crown Kings, OG squad. Let's go. So um, I'm gonna Strength tweak the game sound a bit, you know, just in case. So yeah, um, there are a lot of maps as we call. Let's come back to maps. Uh, there are also two remastered maps. Oh damn, that last bike though. There are also two remastered. Um, um, Oh wait, what I was saying? Yeah, remaster maps. As you can see, this map is very familiar to Alert uh, for MC4. So I think this is the remaster version of Alert, and there's another um, remaster version of Dog Days. So my favorite map has uh, to be Slums and this map. I forgot what its name. And the Cargo map. The Cargo map is like so like amazing graphics and stuff. So talking about graphics, as you can see, the graphics for this game is just amazing, and uh, that that you know that tells us why this game uh, takes two GB of sto uh, storage space, which is quite a lot. But hey, come on, I think it's worth it for this much graphics. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. So yeah, m I forgot to explain you guys about Ronin's uh, special core, char core charge or special ability. So when I when you get five charges, um, you can use his ability, which makes him like be able to deflect bullets. Uh, so he doesn't. It's basically like a layer of shield, you know. And it's a pretty cool uh, ability. I really like it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm playing against Cult. In my opinion, Cult and BBQ are like the best counters for Ronin because they're like completely gonna drain his movement speed off. And again, if you're really close to your enemy, then Ronin's just gonna start using his sword. You know, like bam, 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 katana, slice, slice, slice. So that's pretty cool. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, so, actually, if you see, this game's actually pretty competitive, you know? Right now, you won't see me play uh, play against a lot of people because right now when I was playing, it was it's basically like midnight for US USA and most people play on VPN. Oh, talking about VPN, I come on to my next topic. So <laughs> I see a lot of YouTubers like complaining that this game has a lot of FPS drops and there's no optimization and things. But come on, man, you're playing on VPN. You're like somewhere in the US. And you're playing on an Asian server, come on, you have to expect some lag and FPS drop, otherwise it's not right. And again, as I said, I'm not gonna be super judgmental about the game as it's still in soft launch slash beta. So, once this game has been released, I'll make more videos about it and I'll make more videos with other agents also for you guys to enjoy. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again for the continuous um, support. 
and uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, keep watching. Oh shit, I forgot my outro. Wait, uh, yeah, that's my outro. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till my next video, it's Lightning. Peace out.